Hey guys, welcome to Tech Time. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Logitech MX Keys Mini, a premium keyboard from Logitech. First up, let's do an unboxing. Inside this box is the cable, cable and some instructions. So pretty simple for that side. Let's have a look at the keyboard itself. I guess this is more environmentally friendly using paper as compared to plastic. That's good to see. So first impressions of the keyboard is it's a beautiful keyboard. Uh, definitely high premium quality materials. Feels great in the hand. It does feel a bit heavy, which is my main criticism of this keyboard is it is heavy. Um, mostly because I travel a lot and I uh, want to carry this with me. So this is going to add quite a hefty weight to my baggage. All right, so this is not my first MX Keys. In fact, I've got the original MX Keys here, uh, which is the full size keyboard. Now, I needed something for travel, which is why I wanted to get the Mini. Uh, the key things I love about this keyboard is that you can, you can uh, connect up to three devices. So I hook up my MacBook Pro, my iPad, and my phone, and it quickly switches between them. The other key feature I love about the MX Keyboard is the illumination. Um, it has backlit keys. So this is really useful when you are working at night. Comparing these two keyboards, you can actually see this mini keyboard has a darker gray, which I kind of really like. Um, this one matches more, I guess, a space gray of the Apple. As I shared, the primary reason why I got this was because you can connect up to three devices. Previously, I was using the Apple keyboard, which I love because it's super light compared to this, only about 230 grams but it doesn't have the ability to change uh, between devices. So if I want to actually use my MacBook Pro uh, and switch to my iPad, I actually have to go into my MacBook Pro, unpair it, and then repair to a new device, or the, either my iPhone or my iPad. And of course, that's just too much trouble uh, that I won't even bother doing it. So that's the reason why I'm actually upgrading to this Logitech keyboard. So it gives me the ability to quickly switch between devices. Um, and I guess also, aesthetically, this is gonna match my MacBook Pro a lot better. One other great thing about the keyboard is that it uses a USB-C connection and has an inbuilt battery that will last 10 days on full charge with the backlit illumination, or five months with the illumination turned off. It takes up to three hours to fully charge, depending on the power of your charger. From a sustainability perspective, Logitech assures us that they use recycled plastic, up to 30% in this graphite color. Now, just a quick comparison to another keyboard in case you needed a cheaper option. This is the K380, which I've also used. It's slightly lighter at about 420 grams, still has the ability to connect up to three devices and nearly a third cheaper. <laughs> to summarize everything, I've created a simple table to highlight the differences between the MX Keys and its closest competitors. Let's take a look. I've got links to Amazon on all these keyboards in the section below. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate, which means a small portion of the purchase price will go to me to help support me in making these videos. However, the key thing is you won't be paying any more and uh, you can save some time. I've also searched the best deals and have discovered you can save up to 20 to 30% off the recommended retail prices, depending on the country you're buying and the timing of your purchase. In summary to me, the MX Keys Mini offers the best solution on the go with the only real downside, it's a little heavy at half a kilo or 1.1 pounds. The Apple keyboard suits best if you only need to connect to one device or if you want the convenience of Touch ID at an extra cost, whilst the K380 suits those of you who don't need the backlight or extra key customization, but want to save some extra coin, provided you don't mind the circular keys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and ping that notification button to ensure you don't miss a video from me. Thanks for watching, and if you want to find out more on how to connect the MX Keys Mini to your devices, how quickly you can switch between devices, and how to customize the keys, check out my How To MX Keys video. See ya!